Okay, hi, let me start. Uh, uh, I will start with conclusion of my presentation. Uh, use Java Security Manager uh, whenever you run Java application. Okay, raise your hands. Uh, who do doesn't like running? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Okay, I, I like running. Nevertheless, uh, do you run Java applications uh, with plugins or Java applications deployed on application server? If yes, then you should be afraid because you are threatened. Yeah, and let me give some example. I have here deployed a GSP demo application. Uh, it's only three slides. Uh, E-learning, which shows uh, Java code, how to assign variables, and GSP site generates uh, the output, which usually goes to system out. So variable A is one. For example, second uh, Java example is simple integer loop, which outputs nice, uh, nice uh, data. But what if evil programmer or evil application comes and do in another application running on the application server something like this? Yeah, we, sh we submit some value. Yeah, we can do this. And go back to our e-learning application. I will reload it and assign variable, and variable i is 42. Yeah, it's another application, but we assigned one, we have 42. The same for loop. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, 42. What happened? Yeah, the Java wasn't protected by Java Security Manager. So let's go back and fill one back because otherwise we not only change uh, the, the value for other applications, but for the application server itself. So for example, if I shut down the server and I will leave there the one is 42, then in 50% of cases, I will not start the application server again because the, the configuration will be corrupted. So I will go back. Next example, what application or libraries when, where such, such a code is can do, they, they could shut our server down. Yeah, I will not uh, push the try it button because uh, then I have to start again. <laughs> okay, and of course there are other risks. Uh, the application can read our secure data, uh, some password files or something like it, or it can run our public methods, which we we should keep private, but yeah, we don't have, it, have them protected. And the solution is use Java Security Manager. It's standard part of Java SE and uh, usually it's used to, to say some part of code is protected. So, for example, you are coming to, to a method get password cache. So, on the very beginning of the method, you should do something like this. Get system security manager, and if it is not null, so we use a security manager, then create runtime permission or create a permission which we want to check if user has or if the code has and call security manager check permission and after that 
we can do our protected code. And how to start with it? It's very simple. When we are calling Java, we add two, two more uh, system properties, Java Security Manager and Java Security Policy with configuration of our uh, access uh, permissions. For example, this should be uh, this should be enough to to protect our demo application, our e-learning. So we only grant full permissions to uh, application server itself, but not for the deployed applications. For deployed applications, we use only the last part. So the permission which we grant uh, can be based on the paths in a file system where the jar files or, or classes are located, or uh, which signatures or which signers are used to sign the code, or which authenticated user comes to, to access the code. Or we can grant, uh, uh, to grant the permissions to, to all. Uh, one step further is a pretty new thing, Prograde library, it's Security Manager++, plus plus, which, adds, uh, which adds deny rules. So we, by uh, usual uh, Java Security Manager, by standard, we only uh, have granting rules. So at, uh, when we have uh, empty policy file, then we have no permission. And we add permission by permission, and we can't say, by, I, I want to grant all, but deny this one. So for this is, uh, is developed uh, this prograde library, which adds deny entries. You can use it by Maven. The initialization is the same as uh, for normal Java Security Manager. Only the thing which you will change is you will not leave the, this property empty, but you will provide a class, a class name for the prograde Security Manager. And then you can use grants and denies. So, what happens if I run the demo with security manager? Okay, reload. Maybe it happened. Yeah. And with security manager, if I want to do some magic, I don't have the permissions to do it. Uh, and you can see some access control exception is thrown. So is it problem only for uh, application servers? No. Whenever you run third party libraries or use some applications with plugins, then you should use Java Security Manager. And it's all. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs>